Jo and thank you for joining me. Today I am reviewing The Stone Rose. Um, this is part of the Doctor Who series. Okay, this is actually number seven in the Doctor Who new series adventures. Uh, this one is by Jacqueline Rayner. Okay, um, this, I have to say this is my first foray into reading a Doctor Who book and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. This is one, I picked this up, um, I believe I got this from the free book exchange, this one, um, and I'm really glad I did. But I, like I said, I really enjoyed this. I definitely want to read more Doctor Who books now. It's something that I used to watch the TV series with my uncle when I was younger. <laughs> um, that was basically, that was our, our viewing. We used to watch the, the series of Doctor Who, or if not Red Dwarf, I don't know if you remember those, kind of revealing my age here. But um, yeah, so that was like our viewing when we got together. And so yeah, I was curious to see uh, what was going on with this. I also now want to like re-watch all of the Doctor Who's from the beginning because I, it's something like I said, I used to watch it when I was a kid with my uncle, but then didn't watch it anymore. I have a feeling like the newer stuff is probably even better. Um, but anyway, so in this one, uh, we have um, Mickey who is startled to find a statue of Rose in the museum. Okay, a statue that is 2000 years old. Um, the doctor realizes that um, this means that they're going to take a little trip in the TARDIS and they're gonna go back to ancient Rome um and yeah it all gets a bit crazy after that um so um there is a young boy young man who has gone missing and so the doctor and rose um kind of take it upon themselves to help find this young man whilst they're there and trying to work out you know where this statue of rose comes from um, so Rose ends up befriending a girl from the future and um, the doctor um, is basically, he's made friends and works for the dad of the missing boy. Okay, so all of this, like I said, is happening in ancient Rome. That was another plus point for me because, you know, I live in Rome in Italy and I like uh, all the stuff about ancient Rome. So uh, that was interesting. Um, I I really enjoyed this one. It's it's kind of like a lesson in be careful what you wish for. This one. Um, I liked the additional characters and things in it as well. I liked um, the descriptions of the location and things as well. I thought that was done well. Um, lots of funny moments um to this this is um when billy piper would have been rose and david tent was the doctor okay and um i could definitely get his vibe uh through it like i said i do need to watch more of the actual tv series i think i would appreciate it more if i did um but anyway yes if you are looking to get into these i really like this one so um worth checking out it was 249 pages long but it was actually a really quick read this one um just th flew through it um didn't really want to put it down uh so check it out uh anyway that's it for today thank you for joining me um, I would be interested to know if you've read any other books in the Doctor Who series and if you have, if you have a favourite. Um, if you're, you know, for someone like me who is just starting out in this, um, which ones would you recommend checking out first? Um, I'd be interested to know because I, I definitely want to read more of those. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!